Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. So lovely to meet you. So The Innocents, what gave you the idea of this incredible story? Too much beer. Too much beer. In Seriously. North London. Um, yeah, pretty much. We, uh, we, we used to hang out in beer gardens in North London and just throw ideas around. Simon's quite um, genre-led in his taste. I'm quite domestic with a twist. Um, and when we both love a show, we're obsessive about it, so I won't name any names, but, you know. But, so there seemed to be a really good interlock of our tastes that we wanted to kind of put, build a world together in, I guess. Um, we found the kernel of the idea. We were really interested in family dramas, identity, all those sorts of things. Shapeshifting came very early, and then Harry and June came very quickly out of that. And we just carried on the process, building the stories out, building the world out, and here yeah. we are. And I think we wanted to take that time to really make the world, I'd never say watertight, but really layered and really sort of... Um, something that people could absorb into and feel that it had been really fleshed out. Um, and so we took our time doing it, didn't we? And got to a first script and then sold that to a production company, New Pictures. And if you were going to describe it to someone who hadn't seen it before, how would you summarise you know, what this is about? Oof, uh, a, a, a family drama with supernatural elements and a road movie and a love story and a thriller with a little bit of horror. It's a Russian doll a of, Russian of, doll. of, of, of a TV drama. A it's uh, hopefully there's something for everyone, but it's also in terms of the writing of it. We wanted it to have layers that peel off and, and just be unexpected. And if someone can get to the end of the drama and go, I watched a lot of TV and I didn't expect that, then we'll be very happy. And you had an incredible creative team to put it there on the screen as well. So, you know, how was it having these actors to, to, to put your story and make it come alive? You don't imagine you'll get actors that good when, when you set out. You really don't. And then particularly with, with Percy and Sorka, when we found those, we felt blessed. Because yeah. it's such, such difficult roles, such difficult roles. And, and we, also it lives and dies on the chemistry of that love absolutely, story. Because that is the central, you know... And we went, you know, up and down the country looking for, for kids of that age who could play those characters. And when we found them, you're just like, yeah, jackpot. And then you move on to the next thing, and then Guy Pearce becomes a reality and you're like, OK, wasn't expecting that, but Guy Pearce is incredible, so, you know. It's, yeah. And all under the umbrella of making it with Netflix, who really do know how to make television shows exactly. and, and know how to genuinely nurture talent, both on screen and, you know, with the writers well, and yeah. all sorts. It was a very generous team. Fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. Congratulations. It's been a great series.